Covering news where you live. This is 5 News at 6. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alexandra Burnley. And I'm Darren Bob. We start tonight with a father of a woman who was killed last Wednesday night when a driver crashed his pickup truck into the Blue Agave Mexican Grill in Barley. 5 News reporter Morgan Wrigley spoke with Jimmy Lowry about his daughter and the tragedy that took her life. It was just after 4 p.m. last Wednesday evening when a pickup truck drove through the window of Blue Agave Mexican Grill in Barling, striking five people. Jimmy Lowry is the father of 48-year-old Heather White, who was killed in the crash. It was Heather, her mother, her stepfather, and Heather's son were sitting at a table. It hit the table uh, where they were sitting. The, some of the pictures that I've seen from it, they were totally demolished. Lowry says all four were transported to the hospital. Heather was alive at the time that the ambulance showed up and saying that her stomach hurt and she couldn't breathe and apparently passed away on either as soon as she got to the hospital or in route. He says Heather's son, mother, and stepfather were later released with non-life-threatening injuries. Lowry describes his daughter as very smart. Graduated from Southside High School here in Fort Smith. I think she was number two in her class when she graduated. She got the governor's scholarship that she went to the University of Arkansas with, wound up with a chemical engineering degree up there, and then worked for uh, uh, several fairly local companies. And as the family copes with the loss, he says he's found comfort in knowing she had a strong faith. Heather had a strong uh, faith in Jesus and was definitely a Christian. So. Yeah, it's sad losing Heather, but she's in a better place than we are. The driver of the pickup truck, Larry Stevens, is charged with four counts of battery, one count of criminal mischief, and one count of driving while intoxicated. In the future, Lowry hopes people will make decisions that prevent accidents like this. I mean, if you want to drink, drink and stay at home. If you're going to do drugs, stay at home. Don't get out on the road because you're going to hurt somebody else, and it seems to me like and more often than not, the person that is under the influence winds up walking away and somebody else gets killed because of their bad decisions. In Barling, covering news where you live, Morgan Wrigley, 5 News.